On July 1, 2025, astronomers using the Atlas Telescope in Chile detected a small, fast-moving object near Jupiter's orbit. At first, it looked like a typical asteroid or comet, but within hours, scientists realized it was something much rarer, a visitor from beyond our solar system. This object, now named Comet 3I Atlas, is only the third confirmed interstellar object ever discovered. Most objects in our solar system follow elliptical orbits around the Sun, bound by its gravity. But 3I Atlasis moving far too fast, around 70 kilometers per second, which is above the solar system's escape velocity at its location. Its orbit isn't elliptical, it's hyperbolic, meaning it's just passing through and won't return. The key number here is orbital eccentricity. Anything above one is considered hyperbolic. 3I Atlas has an eccentricity above six, confirming its interstellar origin. Soon after discovery, scientists noticed a faint halo around the object, a sign of cometary activity. As it approaches the sun, ices on its surface begin to sublimate, releasing gas and dust. This forms a coma and possibly a tail. More than 100 follow-up observations confirm these features. The International Astronomical Union updated its name to C2025N1, classifying it officially as a non-periodic comet. C means it's non-periodic and won't return. 2025 is the year of discovery. N1 indicates it was the first non-periodic comet discovered in the first half of July. N stands for the first half of July. The comet's exact size is still uncertain, but current estimates suggest it's between 5 to 50 kilometers in diameter. That makes it potentially the largest interstellar object ever observed. At the time of discovery, it was around 670 million kilometers from Earth and about 2.5 million times fainter than the pole star. 3I Atlas is expected to reach its closest point to the Sun, perihelion, on October 30th, 2025, just inside Mars's orbit, around 206 million kilometers from the Sun. However, during this time, it will be on the far side of the Sun from Earth, which limits observations. It will reappear by early December, offering another short window to study it before it fades away, likely becoming invisible by early 2026. With new technology, we may soon see more of these rare objects. The Vera C. Rubin Observatory, currently being completed in Chile, is expected to play a major role. It has a 3.2 gigapixel camera and will scan the night sky every few days. Even during early tests, it discovered over 2,100 new asteroids in just a few hours. Once fully operational, it's expected to increase our discovery rate of interstellar objects significantly. Instead of finding one every few years, we might find several each decade or even each year. Comet 3 I Atlas is more than just a visitor. It's a natural messenger from another star system bringing with it information billions of years old. Over the next few months, as it passes through our skies, astronomers around the world will be watching closely, hoping to learn more not just about this one object, but about how planets and comets form, survive, and travel between the stars. The more we learn from these interstellar travelers, the closer we get to understanding the galaxy we live in.